Hey guys, welcome back to the lab. Today we are inserting the new spine material um, that we'll show on the outside of this book. So in a previous episode, I toned out two different pieces of paper and uh, one didn't work out. It was too dark and a little too red. And the lighter piece on top is what I'll be using here today. So what I do is I fit the piece first. I use the cover as a template uh, because the height of this material has to equal the height of the front and back boards on this book. So I fit the material on the spine to make sure I have it in the right place. It looks good, nothing weird. I apply adhesive to the back of the hollow tube. And this is the next part where that piece of plastic in the hollow tube is important because if it wasn't there, the tube would stick to itself at this point and that wouldn't work out. So I've already put adhesive on the spine piece itself and it's been sitting while I was putting adhesive on the spine. Um, so that they can both swell, paper swells when it gets wet. And I don't want to put dry paper on a wet spine because that can cause wrinkling of the top paper or the dry paper. So I'm coming in with a Teflon folder, making sure I don't have any weird air bubbles, wrinkles. And I've let it dry for a couple hours. So now I'm going to come in and make sure it's trimmed down to the right size to fit under that lifted leather. So the dividers I'm using are still set for the same width of the linen lining underneath that I trimmed in a previous episode. So I just trim the paper to make sure it's going to fit. And then I cut the material at the head and tail because these are going to be my turn ins and I will deal with them in the next episode. And then I do the same thing on the other side. And I just like to make sure that I'm trimming it the correct width because if I don't, I have to pull the whole thing off and tone a new piece and try again. And again, I cut my turn ins of the head and tail on the side as well. So I reinsert um, the plastic, which will allow me to slip this paper up under the antique leather without getting glue on the leather and making a huge mess and causing problems for me. And I weight this plastic to make sure it doesn't slide around while I'm applying the adhesive. And then I take a micro spatula and kind of a wiggle to get it started. But that dampened long fibered paper um, that has adhesive on it will just slide up under that plastic. I'm checking for lumps and bumps because I don't want any. And now that's done, I will slide out the plastic and clean up any glue residue. And then I come back in with a smaller Teflon folder and make sure there are no air bubbles or lumps. 
And then I do the same thing on the next side where I insert the plastic. And although less frustrating than inserting the plastic for the linen overhanging lining, this still takes a minute and some patience. And the original leather turn-ins, although they are not really structural at this point, they're decorative. I don't really like to tear those off, so I'm being careful. And then I forget to weight my plastic, but it works out okay, um, because I am able to apply the adhesive without that plastic piece falling out, which is always good. And then again, I wiggle the new material up under the original leather. And again, a little adhesive cleanup. And then I come under with the Teflon folder again and make sure everything is well adhered. And that's where we're at so far is that plastic is still in place until everything is completely dry. And then we have new paper turn-ins under the original leather. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in this week. Next week, we are going to handle those turn-ins and make them look all tidy. Don't forget to subscribe to show the lab some love. And thanks for watching.